right, I got a great question here by BRL. She asks, how can you believe words you have not read? When the God Almighty showed me his truth, I had done a lot to study and read and reading and comparing and contrasting before I could believe any book. All I could do was trust in the author. After learning the truth of his word, I then had to read it to believe it in order for it to act on my life. If I tell people to just believe the book, they hold on their hands, that will do them no good. It's nothing more than a good luck charm. They need to read it. Yeah, they definitely need to read it. Definitely for sure. Um, so this is, to summarize, this is sort of like, um, do I believe it, then read it? <clears throat> or do I read it and then believe it? And so I strongly contend that you have to believe it before you read it or as you read it in order to understand it. If you don't believe it when you read it, you won't understand it. So in other words, you gotta have faith when you read it. If you don't have faith when you read it, you won't understand it. So let's use some Bible verses to uh, show both sides, if you will. So um, faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. All right, so first faith has to come and faith comes by hearing. And what are they hearing? They're hearing the word of God. So you have to have faith before you read the word of God. And then you have to have faith as you're reading the word of God in order to have understanding. All right, so on the other side, you have people that read it, but they don't have faith. Okay, even unto this day, when Moses is read, the veil is upon their heart. Nevertheless, when it shall turn to the Lord, that is to have faith, the veil shall be taken away now the Lord is that spirit and where the spirit of the Lord is there is liberty all right so we have freedom in the spirit of the Lord now uh, the, I just want to real quickly also show uh, this verse here in John chapter 14 even the spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive, because it sees him not, neither knows him, but ye know him, for he dwells with you and shall be with you. So, and shall be in you, I should say. Okay, so when the spirit of truth is in you, that it's not in you until you have faith. When you have faith, you are born of the spirit of God, and the spirit of truth comes in unto you, and now your eyes are opened, <clears throat> and you're able to see and we read about this in the Old Testament um, as well if I can find uh, there's a few verses here let's see if I can find a couple of uh, you know just I'll just find one here if I can make the heart of this people fat and make their ears heavy and shut their eyes lest they see with their eyes and hear with their ears and understand with their heart and convert and be healed All right, so we see that <clears throat> a couple times in the Old Testament and uh, here in Matthew 13 for this people's heart is waxed gross and their ears are dull of hearing and their eyes they have closed lest at any time they should see with their eyes and hear with their ears and should understand with their heart and should be converted and I should heal them so once we have faith 
now our eyes are open now we can read now we can understand what we read so I strongly contend that we have to have faith as we read so if we're we have to have faith before we read and then have faith as we read okay and in order to have understanding okay I mean we can read you can not you can be an unbeliever and read but you, you won't have understanding just as we read in 1 Corinthians 15 that the veil is upon their heart them that don't believe and also here like in Isaiah where uh, their eyes are shut their ears are heavy and until they believe until they have faith right does that make sense and I think that's all I got but that's a good question there's no question about it you have to have faith as you're reading the Bible in order to have understanding and of course faith is faith in the Lord Jesus Christ and uh, we hear the gospel uh, from our childhood we and the simple gospel is believe on the Lord Jesus Christ that's uh, that's very simple right and you've heard people say oh that's you know somebody will say ask a question and they'll say that's a loaded question well when somebody says believe in the Lord Jesus Christ you could say well that's a loaded statement except I mean that that's true except it's very simple believe is had faith on the Lord Jesus Christ the Lord being God Jesus being the Savior Christ meaning Savior so um, I think we all can figure out that we need a Savior that we can't do it ourselves and the law of Moses you think about um, how the even unto this day when Moses is read the veil is upon their heart so um, in Moses we have the law so the law is there to be our schoolmaster to bring us to faith in Jesus Christ and once faith is come we are no longer under a schoolmaster so in order for people to be saved they have to believe in the Lord Jesus Christ in order for people to have understanding of the Word of God they first have to have faith and so again the law comes before grace and the law is there to bring us to faith in the Lord Jesus Christ who has done it all for us so that he could be what's that verse so he could be all in all let me close on this one here and when all things shall be subdued unto him then shall the son also himself be subject unto him that put all things under him that God may be all in all okay so uh, I think yeah I think I should just close on that huh so Jesus Christ has done it all for us and without that faith there is no understanding does that make sense okay ah, that's enough okay thanks for that comment and question appreciate it and uh, appreciate this comment here by good news uh, great response here by true sets you free Israel is not even related to one geographical location Israel is a spiritual nation and we Christians are that spiritual nation okay and I reckon since uh, since I'm here I got one more comment here all right so this is gonna be extremely offensive so just go ahead and shut your 
close the video off now I'm done this is gonna be the last thing I don't want anybody to be offended this is gonna be nasty all right so here we go <clears throat> language that's considered this will con there will be language that's very offensive And Stefan says, you are a complete nutter. Ah, that's nice. Whew, that was tough. Okay, all right, that's it.